Alright, Assalamualaikum uh, In this video, we're going to continue with covariance Okay, uh, so last video, we already learned how to calculate the expected return of the portfolio So before we proceed uh, to the standard deviation of the portfolio So we, uh, we must uh, familiarize ourselves with the covariance Okay, because uh, there is a covariance Okay, in the uh, formula of standard deviation of the portfolio Okay, so now let's have a look at um, what is the covariance. Okay, uh, the risk involved in individual securities can be measured by uh, standard deviation or variance. So this one, uh, kita dah belajar for the single asset. However, when two securities are combined, so now we are doing the portfolio, more than one security. Okay, so we need to consider the, they are interactive or covariance. Ataupun dia punya interactive risk between two assets. Okay, so the covariance is an absolute measure of the extent to which two assets move together over time. Okay, that is how often they move up and down together. Okay, uh, so there are three types of the covariance. Okay, which is the first one is the positive covariance. Okay, so when the two securities move together in the same direction. Okay, same direction meaning uh, to say here, if let's say we have asset A and asset B. So if asset A is performing well, going up, and so does asset B. Okay, uh, in the same direction. And when the asset uh, A turning down, Okay, so asset B also will follow down. Okay, and then for the negative covariance, okay, negative covariance, okay, uh, they move together in the opposite direction. Opposite meaning to say here, one increase, one decrease. Okay, one decrease, one increase. Okay, in the opposite direction. And the last one, independent covariance. Okay, when rates of return uh, move together in the independent uh, direction. Okay, so here's uh, the formula of covariance, okay, for the case of without probabilities, okay, and for the case of with probabilities, okay, so the formula is equal to covariance between asset I and J is equal to sum of Ri minus Ri cap times Rj minus Rj cap divided by N, okay, uh, and then for the case of with probabilities, okay, sum of Ri minus Ri cap times Rj minus Rj cap with times with PRI. Okay, PRI here, same with PI, probability. Okay. Alright, next. Okay, so this is the example on page 20. So, you can refer uh, to your manual, page 20. So, given asset I and asset J, year 13 up to 18. So, we are going to calculate the expected return for each asset. Maksudnya, single I, single J. And then, standard deviation for each asset. And then, the covariance between two assets. Okay, so now let's calculate expected return first, okay? Okay, so the expected return for asset I, okay, so because of uh, this one is for the case of without probability, so we are going to sum up all, okay, sum up all and divide it by N, okay, N number of years, guys, ini. Alright, so, okay, so 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 9 plus 11 and then divided by 6 years because of uh, n to 6 years okay so here okay you will get ri is equal to 7 percent okay and then next for the rj sama juga you can sum up all okay sum up all dekat sini okay 8 plus 10 Plus 14, plus 12, plus 13, plus 15. Okay, and then divided by 6. So, here you will get Rj is equal to 12%. Okay, next we are going to calculate the standard deviation. Okay, the formula of standard deviation, okay, is equal to sum of Ri minus Ri cap square. Okay, we divide it by N because uh, case of uh, without probability. Okay. Alright, so let's calculate the standard I dulu. Okay, standard I is equal to, okay, because of other six observation. One, two. Okay. 
Okay, kita akan divide it by n. And then don't forget to square root. Okay, and then we know that the uh, expected return is 7 for our i. And then for our j is 12. Okay. Alright, so now let's continue. So, 7. Never minus all with uh, the expected return 7. Okay, and all must be at the square. Okay, and then the annual rate of return. Here lah. Okay, given in the table 368. Okay. Three, three, six, eight, five, nine, eleven. Okay, so when you will count this one, all right, you will get uh two point six five percent. Okay, two point six five percent. Okay, and then next, uh, standard deviation of J. Okay, standard deviation of J. Okay, so we know that the expected return for J is 12. So we are going to minus all annual rate of return. Okay, uh, by 12 and then the annual rate of return given in the table. Okay, uh, 8, 10, 14, 12, 13, 15. Alright, so this one you are going to get 3% standard deviation of J. Okay, so kita tanda sikit standard J. Standard J, standard J 3%. Okay, so this is standard I, 2.65%. Okay, ni standard I. Okay, next, kita dah settle with all the single expected return, single standard deviation. Now, we can continue with the covariance. Okay, so the formula of the covariance, okay. Okay, so covariance between asset I and J is equal to sum of Ri minus Ri cap times R J minus R J minus eh? minus R J cap. Okay, then we divide it by N because the case of without probability. Okay, muat tak nak kira kat sini? Muat eh? So, I use this one. Okay, so to calculate the covariance between asset I and J is equal to, so because of other sixth observation, So we know that we are going to divide it by 6 because of 6 observation. Okay, uh, R cap for I, we know that 7. Okay, and then 3, 6, 8, 5, 9, 11. And then here, all 12% expected return for J. Minus 12, and then annual rate of return given in the table, 8, 10, 14, 12, 13, and 15. Okay, so when you will count, okay, don't forget to add all, eh, add all. Okay, you are going to get this one, okay, as uh, 34 divided by 6, okay, uh, 34 divided by 6. Okay, uh, five point six seven. So I bunda dua je lah. Okay, so covariance between S and I and J. Okay, sikit tu five point six seven. Okay, alright. So this is how we calculate the covariance between two assets. Okay, and then we are going to use this covariance to be put in the Formula of standard deviation of the portfolio later. 
Alright, so that's all for this video. Okay, thank you.